everyone, my name is Savannah. This morning, the new Oceania pack for Planet Zoo just got announced. We have a brand new announcement trailer alongside some beautiful screenshots. So in this video, we're going to take a look at that trailer and then really slow it down and take a look at just everything we can spot in this new announcement trailer and take a look at the wonderful animals that are getting added to the pack as well. So without further ado, before we jump in to see the trailer, don't forget, hit the like, leave a comment, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future Planet Zoo content. And let's take a look at that trailer. Planet Zoo trailers are just getting better and better. Each one that they release just is more exciting. It's just a better trailer. We got a look at pretty much all of the animals. Not a great look at the Tasmanian Devil. We got a look at that, uh, the new bat. We got a look at the new penguin, the kiwi. Wonderful. I'm so excited. And there is so much to look at in this trailer, given that this is, again, a scenery pack. So we, alongside those wonderful animals, are getting 200 plus pieces added to the game, as well as a new brand new career scenario where you'll reunite with Bernie Goodwin and his daughter. The five new animals being added to the pack, of course, being the Kiwi, the Tasmanian Devil, the Little Blue Penguin, the Quokka, and the Spectacled Flying Fox, or that fruit bat that we saw in the trailer. Did not get a look at the Quokka as well, which I'm sure Frontier is holding that one a little bit close to their chest because we know that's going to be a fan favorite. So with having seen the trailer a couple times now, let's start it from the beginning and take a really close look at everything that we can see that's been revealed in this trailer. So as we start the trailer over again, this is at 50% speed and this is the first place that I do want to pause it because right off the bat, we are looking at new pieces. Check out those surfboards on the left hand side the kind of tiki-esque like sign statues in the ground, the netting that's hanging on that little house or building structure. I do have to say first and foremost, I'm, I'm going to love this pack and I'm going to love this pack because of the specific wood tones that I can see everywhere in this trailer. For those of you that know me, you know the Australia pack is one of my most used and favorite packs because of like the light worn wood textures in that pack, it's my go-to aesthetic. And this pack looks like it's going to really complement the Australia pack so, so well, which obviously makes sense, right? An Oceania pack and an Australia pack going hand in hand is a no brainer. So I'm glad that that is the case with this. More thatched roof, you guys know I love my thatched roof. And it looks like we've got lots of good detail pieces as well. I do think that those plants, the little grass plants growing on the roof of that little structure are new. But again, if you guys know me, you know that announcement trailers are the time where I think all foliage is new and I completely forget about what is already in the game. So you'll have to correct me down below. But if we keep this trailer going through this beautiful, oh, we see some tiki's over there. I missed that the first couple times, just to the left of the Planet Zoo logo. We see the kiwi running across the floor, and then we get this beautiful overview screenshot, which we'll look a little closely at later. But I want to pause it here because this is a beautiful uh, screenshot of a whole bunch of new stuff. I believe that path up there is brand new. I'm not sure if we get a closer look at that or not, but we'll have to pay attention as the trailer goes on. Um, the railing is definitely new and beautiful. I love the kind of netting work on that alongside the lighter colored wood tone. 
is absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving all of the wood pieces that I'm seeing. I think this fence that we're seeing as the guests uh, are walking down below there, the actual barrier of this is actually a Tasmanian devil exhibit, but we don't get a close look at the Tasmanian devil. Um, I think that fence piece is going to be like a placeable, like modular little piece, like a lot of the fences that we have, which is exciting. I love it. I love the detail of you can tell like the ropes around each of the poles. Um, or it could potentially be made by the developers. Um, you see the little rope pieces, like the thicker ones around some of those wood posts on that fence. Those do look like the rope pieces that we already have in the game. So it could potentially be handmade. Um, so we'll have to see regardless. Gorgeous. We see a few different tiki's throughout the exhibit. One in that very left hand lower corner. A one more to the right on the other side of that fern slash palm looking tree. And then one just behind the rock if you continue on to the right hand side. Um, so really cool to see all those guys. Up in the kind of foreground on the right side of the screen, we have what I'm assuming is a Tasmanian Devil statue. Much cuter than actual Tasmanian Devils, I do have to say, but really cool to see that as well. Looking at that tower that's in the actual exhibit straight back in kind of like the mid to background area of this screenshot, we see lots and lots of wood pieces put together, and I am so hoping those are all new. <laughs> I want them all to be brand new because I never think we need more wooden pieces in the game until we're given more wooden pieces in the game, and then I don't know how to live without them. So I am guessing this pack is going to be no different. The kind of palm tree fern type trees all throughout this exhibit, mainly the lower left and kind of the foreground of this exhibit, that has to be new, right? And if so, I love the texture and the color of that. More of a low lying, like filler type plant. Absolutely gorgeous. Looking in the background, I see a few things that are probably new. Um, they're real tiny and hard to kind of focus on and see, so we won't talk about them too, too much. Um, but lots, lots in this screenshot. If we keep it playing here, you can see that little Tasmanian devil run across the screen real quick. And then we're going to pause it right here because we get another look at uh, all of the wonderful pieces. Looks like a new wall set as well. It kind of looks like a like a woven bamboo kind of wall, which oh, perfect. And is that a new roof straight back behind the little boat that we'll talk about in just a minute? that kind of square building with the non-thatched roof. I am hoping that's a newer like corrugated metal roof is what it looks like because the one that came with, I believe it was Australia, correct? I love that, but it's not flexi colored and it's a little bit bright and kind of like contrasty with the orange and the gray on it. So it doesn't necessarily fit in every context of every build that I want to make. This one looks a little bit more neutral and maybe, dare I say, flexi colored. Let's hope that everything in this pack is flexi colored because that would be phenomenal. Um, so yeah, new roof set, new wall set. Um, I see some kind of shutters on those windows. I can't tell if those windows are new themselves or not. We obviously have those boats. So we have three different, look like little like catamaran boats, right? Um, I'm not quite sure what they are. I'm not a boating expert, but those definitely look new. That's very exciting. Um, we have another, what I'm assuming is a little Tasmanian devil statue in this bottom right, like foreground, this little purple guy. Looks more like a pig to me. Maybe it's the quokka, possibly. I I'm not quite sure. <laughs> it's one of the animals, obviously. Um, but silly looking little face just to the right of this right hand side building. There's this tree that you can see mostly just the trunk. But if you go all the way up to the top, about a third in from the right or more of a fourth in from the right of this screenshot here, that has to be a new tree. The one that's right in front of that purple boat, basically blocking the sail of that purple boat. That has to be a new tree, right? And if so, I'm looking at that thing like it's going to be my new favorite uh, bush because you're going to sink that all the way into the ground and you're going to get these really pretty grass tufts on the ground. 
I'm already eyeballing it. So excited about that. The grass is all on the ground. I cannot tell if that's the buffalo grass, uh, something we already have in game or if it's something new. In the foreground with those little purple flowers, just to the right of this guy with the overly bright green t-shirt on, that looks like a new grass texture to me. But I, I honestly, I could just be crazy, <laughs> but that's what I'm seeing. So really, really good screenshot here. Let's go ahead and move on and keep this a going. As we kind of scroll through here, people walk by so excited, as am I. We get a picture of our little blue penguin. Look at this guy go. I'm so excited. We won't pause it here too long just because there's not really too much to kind of uh, dissect in this screenshot. We know that underwater plants already are in the game. I just can't, can't not stop and take a look at the little blue guy. How adorable is that? But we'll keep it on moving here um, as we pass by that screen and we get to this screen with a new screenshot of, I guess everything's new, but with a first look at our, what was it? The flying fox, right? Spectacled flying fox, or in other words, isn't this just the fruit bat, I believe? Now, I'm always excited about every animal. However, I'm a little sad about another bat species. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little disappointed. I very, very, very much wanted some sort of flighted bird for our walkthrough aviary. These bats look gorgeous. Don't get me wrong, but we already had the Egyptian fruit bat. And so this one really, to me, is not too much different. So Maybe we'll get some exciting animations or something will be special with this one, but I don't necessarily have high hopes for that. Gorgeous animal nonetheless, I just would have hoped for something a little bit more unique. However, looking at some of the stuff in the game, it looks like the uh, items in this walkthrough exhibit, all like bamboo themed with a little bit of uh, thatching on that back little hanging platform for them. Really cool that it is themed towards uh, the theme of the pack. So not disappointed there, but would have loved flighted birds. Moving on, as we continue this uh, trailer here, we get a good look at those, those floor planks. Also, I haven't pointed those out. I'm gonna use the crap out of those because those are absolutely gorgeous. We get another little look at our Kiwi here, star of the show. I'll pause it here just so we can take a look at him. He looks so good. And if you watch the trailer without me, you know, chatting over the top of it, you can hear him make little noises. It's absolutely adorable, but he's also sitting in front of the burrow enrichment item. So this would suggest that the Kiwis can use the burrow enrichment item, I guess. I actually know very little about Kiwi birds and I didn't think that they would go into like underground burrows, but you know, maybe if they're there, they're definitely not going to be digging them, right? They're going to be using like abandoned ones from other animals, but really cool nonetheless. As I continue to let this play out to the very end of the trailer, definitely let me know what you think down below. We have a few more official screenshots that were shared on the Steam workshop, so we'll go ahead and take a look at those now. This screenshot is one basically directly out of the trailer, but without the text over top, so we kind of already did see this. Um, gorgeous, as I'm saying, I just absolutely love it. Those floor planks that the guests are walking on. I, I love those so much with the texture of the rope wrapped around both ends. Absolutely beautiful. The next one is another screenshot from the scenario, I'm guessing. So we get a really good overview. Um, bottom right in the foreground, that building there, you get kind of a better look at the detailing of what I'm guessing is the new wall set. It really does look like, like a woven bamboo wall set to me. I'm also seeing lots of like really curved round roofs. Um, excited about that. I hope that some of them are like the correct size because right now I, in game, I have a really hard time finding a thatched roof that's the right size. A lot of them are too small and a lot of them are too big. So we'll have to see how that works in the game. But I'm also a huge fan of kind of just the still rectangular, but the 
the curved roof. Um, is it concave roof, I guess? Am I describing that correctly? You know what I mean. Those two little buildings that are in the kind of front foreground middle of this uh, of this screenshot. Very cool there. That boat is gorgeous, by the way. <laughs> Whoever built that, kudos to you. That is beautifully, beautifully built. Moving on to the second to last screenshot, we get a real good look at our kiwi. Look at those little face whisker feather thingies. Oh gosh, it's adorable. Um, I see lots of new foliage as well in this one here. Looks like palm trees and stuff in that back left. Um, we've got a mixture of like green and then also some like brownish leaves as well. So that's cool to mix like some, some different colors in there as well. We've got more of those little like grass-ish plants that were growing on the front of the building in the very first part of the trailer that we paused. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And then last but certainly not least, we didn't get a close look at it in the trailer, but we definitely get a screenshot. A Tasmanian devil. We got the mom and the baby and another one in the background. These guys, funny, funny looking animals, but really excited to have them in the game. I think Frontier actually did a really good job uh, with their model, at least from this screenshot, this perspective, it does look like they were able to incorporate kind of the bigger head, smaller back end of this animal, as well as the texture around its nose, like the bumps where its whiskers come out. Um, and then the ears, how kind of uh, saturated in color they are on the inside. They're a little bit brighter than I thought they might be. Um, but overall, I think that they look really good with the little white stripe across the chest. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And those nails, those fingers, really creepy, um, but very, very well done. Very, um, very representative of what the Tasmanian devil does look like. So it looks like from uh, here, the quokka is the only animal that we really didn't get to see, right? We got to see everything else. I'll be excited for that release and then for... Uh, updated screenshots and close looks at all the rest of the animals. So absolutely stay tuned. You know, with the coverage of the new DLC pack, I'll be doing screenshot reveals when they come out. So definitely hit the subscribe button, like this video and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this trailer. And is this a pack that's going to either pull you back into the game or keep you in the game if you're somebody that didn't ever stop? Happy to hear from you and let's chat about it down below. Until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk at you in the next video. Bye.